Hi dolls, it's your girl Tisha Monique and baby, we are headed out on vacation. <laughs> for vacation but I have to share with my dolls what we are taking on vacay dolls I'm so excited to be heading out on vacation it's been way too long and I kind of just have all my stuff laid out on my bed here getting ready to pack it up and I was like this might be a cute little fun first time video to film and just to share how I pack and prep for vacation we're going somewhere tropical with all of the vibes I am just elated to be going on vacation. Let me just show you dolls what I packed. Maybe it'll give you some inspo, some ideas on whenever you get ready to travel or inspiration to travel. But when you go, what to take and just how I pack up everything and make sure that I have enough stuff for all the looks, all the vibes for this four day trip that I'll be taking. So for me, four days is almost a week and I definitely need everything I tend to just plan out or think in advance where i'm going on each day like what are we doing or what would we possibly be doing and for those things what would i need what would i like to have so that i don't have to be purchasing stuff while i'm there and i can just be ready to go because i'd rather be over prepared than not prepared because if you stay ready then you don't have to get ready okay and so that's the vibe that i'm on when i'm packing and just making sure that i've got more than enough but not too too much to where it looks crazy I just want to share, you know, how I pack, my whole thought process, and just depending on where I'm going and how I'm getting there will determine what bags and stuff that I actually pack my stuff in, like what luggage is, which baggage do I carry. One of my favorite bags to travel with when it's going short distance, like if I'm going for a trip in the car or I'm going like to the beach or I'm going for like an overnight stay local where I'm going to be driving, then I would like to use like this Fendi sunshine bag because this bag is really really heavy which I didn't realize is that you know I'm thinking oh it's heavy it's great quality which it is but once you start to add stuff into this bag and my bag is a has a little bit I had it packaged up wrong in the closet but once you start adding stuff to this bag it gets really really heavy to carry to carry it like here or even crossbody because it does have the crossbody strap it gets really really heavy so for this one um, I don't tend to carry this on like trips when I'm going into the airport and stuff because just carrying it through the airport unless I'm just only sitting it on top of my small rolling bag then I wouldn't want to be carrying this like if it's just me you know like my husband's with me he's gonna carry my bags and stuff then yeah I'll bring her but um, I don't think that I'm bringing it for this trip because I'm not traveling with my husband and uh, not that he is my bag carrier <laughs> but he is then I don't want to be carrying this myself, you know, and it gets real heavy because this would be like my airport bag and stuff. If I was going into the restroom, I have to take my bag. It doesn't fit well underneath the seat either, like under the seat, like on the plane. So I wouldn't want to be trying to stuff this bag because um, I just wanted to keep its shape and stuff. And so, yeah, for those reasons, she is not going this time. And for that same reason, Neither of my Louis Vuitton bags, these bags, these uh, keep alls will not be going because these bags, these get really heavy. I know that the girls always are showcasing these bags when they're in the airport and wheels up and all of that. But for me, these bags get really heavy. I'm not gonna wear this crossbody if it's full of things like travel type stuff. When I travel, and this is a pro tip, is that don't put anything in your luggage, your check luggage that you would not want to stand to lose. Don't put any designer stuff. Don't put any um, expensive items, um, your jewelry, expensive jewelry, anything that you could not stand to lose. Do not check that in at the airport because 
they scan those bags. I mean, people prey on that type of stuff. I mean, security and stuff. I mean, sad to say, but they really do show that people's bags get lost, they get stolen, things get taken out of them. So anything that is expensive or dear to you, then you keep that with you in your bags at all times. Like it's going on the plane with you, it's with you in the airport, airport and all of that during transport. So that would be the stuff I would be keeping in here. So all my bags, my purses um, that I'm taking with me, my jewelry, my perfumes, I'm not checking any of my expensive perfumes or any perfumes for that matter. They're gonna be on the plane with me. My filming equipment, my tripods, my camera, even my makeups and stuff. I, I will put check my makeup, but I prefer to keep it in with me. As I'll show you dolls, I tend to just get the smaller sizes. Most makeup that you take will be within the parameters for liquids and stuff. So I tend to have that all in my rolling bag. So saying all of that, this bag tends to get really heavy when you are to the airport with it, when you're trying to crossbody it, and plan to carry this thing, it's massive. Unless I'm going like on a staycation, like if me and my husband are staying overnight at a hotel, these are more overnight bag in my opinion, and that's what I tend to use them for. I would need the LV bags that have the wheels on them, or the key balls that have the wheels on them. If I was gonna be traveling in the airport with these, I have traveled like that before, and it's just not, to me it's not functional. You know, and these get heavy. I think right now, I have some stuff in here just for storage, like my other bag. But these get really, really heavy. Can y'all see that okay? These get really, really heavy. It's not that it's a huge bag, I wouldn't say, but it's just, it's big enough. It's big enough to where, you know, for me, I wouldn't carry it. And I think for men, for guys also, it's more practical now to get the backpack um, if you wanted to do like some Louis Vuitton and have some classic luggage pieces. Just a small luggage with wheels, of course, because that's gonna be with you all the time. And that's what I really wanna get is just the carry-on size luggage with wheels, Louis Vuitton. We're good at first, you know, it's like, oh yeah, Louis Vuitton, like luggage and all of that, which is good. But like I said, I just tend to use these. Um, these are just more like, this is a weekend bag for me. Now this bag here is a good little travel bag. This is the, the smaller one. As you can see, it's got the strap on it. It's got the, this is the one that's deemed for luggage or for carry. So you can see the size difference. It's just a different vibe. And this is con convenient because you can cross body it for like going to the airport, through the terminal, through security, you can go right in, get your wallet out, you know, boarding pass, phone, all of those sorts of things. Like when you stop to get food and stuff, you can just go right in. It's close to the body as far as safety and it zips, of course. So it's just a really nice bag, but you can also pop her off real easy, sit her down on top of your rolling bag and, you know, just be hands-free as well. So this one I like to travel with for sure. And this one I will pack and take with me probably just for day one um, going through the airport because I do like to put her on top of my luggage. I think it's a cute look. I'll pack all my stuff in here for the plane. Like I've already got some socks in here used for the plane. Just airport purse type stuff in here. And then I'm gonna also have my small Christian Dior book tote that I like to travel with also because it carries so well and holds all of my stuff, like my camera, my tripods, all my filming stuff, chargers, my batteries. It holds all of that so good. Plus the things that I need, like my wallet, my lip glosses, um, my phone, just things like that. So I think these are really good traveling bags. Um, and yes. And I'll list all the information for these bags too. So, but yeah, super cute. I have my um, bum bag. This is definitely going. Don't know if I'm gonna wear it, but I think it would be good for like walking around, out and about shopping. I have my Yeezys, my 350s, which in case I wanna go for like to work out, there's the gym in both, and all of the hotels that I'm going to. So I wanna take these. I have with it, just a really convenient little outfit that's easy to pack. It's just a t-shirt and some like biker shorts or tights to wear with that for working out. I have my dunks, which I'm gonna wear in the airport and for travel there and back is how that's gonna go. But for now, I just have everything laid out just on my bed. I have my Christmas sheets on there, so 
excuse that, headphones, external hard drive, my lights, my window suction, you know, if I wanted to film like in the car or in the bathroom at the hotel, this will just suction right on the glass and then I can attach my, my um, camera to it. I've got some extra chargers for like my phone, my phone. I've got my tripod, my small one for my camera. Then I have my bigger one, which is for like pictures and stuff on my phone. And then I also have like this little, now this is what I usually pack all this stuff in, which is just this little case from Amazon. It's kind of a bulky case, it's not soft, but I thought this was good because it can also hold my camera, my tripod, um, and all of those things. And I don't want it to get crushed. So I got my lights in here, and then I can put my memory cards in here, my batteries. And then when I'm like out and about or in the airport, I can just put everything in here. And then that makes it easier to carry and just to have everything conveniently in one spot. So I do have that. Um, so this is all my electronic stuff and that's gonna mostly go in here. I really love this Christian Dior. This is the small book tote. This one is also really great for travel because I can actually, you know, the bag is just like a big shopping bag. So I can sit down in there a lot of these things just like that and be able to, you know, have them in this bag. So I really like to travel with this tote bag and um, either one. So for that reason, I will probably end up bringing both because this is gonna be good on the go, like for days out and about that I'm gonna film. I can bring my camera and stuff in here. This one is more just for the airport. I wouldn't be carrying this every day while I'm like out and about. The thing about it is that it folds down completely flat. Um, so I can just fold that up when it's not in use um, on my way back in my small carry-on bag and it would travel really nice. I'm gonna take either one of those two because those are more like in-town travel bags. So I'm not traveling with those. So those are out. I do have back here my planner, which is gonna go in my bag, um, my carry-on bag. And I like to journal in here, jot down ideas and such. And then I also have my book and my book light back here. So all of this stuff pretty much is gonna go in my carry with me type bag. I have my toiletry bag, which I use for just on the go, like my makeup, I'm gonna put my lotions and stuff in here, anything that I would need while I'm like in transit, lotions, my phones, makeup, hand sanitizers, all that kind of stuff could go in here. This is a really convenient bag, like touch up powders, said I'm going to use this bag which is the um, Louis Vuitton as my initial travel bag to the airport a big massive opening it's got a side zipper pouch which is good if you wanted to put like some quick cash in there or whatever you want to keep in there your credit card if you're having to keep pulling it out and all of that sort of now I do usually carry just you know you guys have seen this wallet this is like my everyday carry wallet but since I have cash that I'm bringing some cash just for, you know, incidentals, travel. I like to travel with a little cash, then it's not gonna fit in here properly. So I have these two, which are my older, um, I've had these for years. I don't even know if they still make these. I'm a slot where it just kind of folds over, where it just folds over, and you can put your money in there. Or I have this one, which is the one I probably will take, which is just a zip all around. Um, I'll have to lift the name because I was, <laughs> Forgive me for not remembering every single name of every single item that I've ever purchased. Like I said, some of these things are vintage at this point. I can just zip it up and put my wallet, um, sorry, my ID and all of that right in there and have it handy. I'll add this in here and just bring the smaller size wallet to have when I get to my destination. Like I was saying, I have all these other little pouches or makeup bags use the proper words. <laughs> these are older little makeup bags. So I've had these uh, at least 20 years now, so I don't even know if they still, they do still make something similar to it. It's not exact, but mine, I've traveled with these. I've been overseas with these, China, Brazil, use. I've used these things to the ground. So I love them. They're definitely loved by me. And I just have these, I keep them on deck. I travel with them. I use them just for a lot of different so things. So just to give you an idea of what all 
this can fit. Um, I put all the electronics in one of the makeup pouches. I put my tripod for my camera, and of course my camera would be in here too. I put my battery charger and some extra batteries, charger for that in case I need to plug it in the airport. I have my light that I use for my camera in case it's dark on the plane, but I still wanna get a little footage for you dolls. Phone charger, some wired headphones for the airplane, and um, all of that. So I'm just gonna zip that up, and then I will add that in here as well. Oops, trying to do this with one hand. Wallet, so still plenty of space. You know it's not a regular Speedy because I can fit so much. I've got my iPad and pen in there. I'm gonna put that in there. Put my headphones in there for the plane. Um, I just like these. So I'm gonna put these in there. Zip this up, but I have this one that I just showed you dolls and I put all my makeup. I put a new hand sanitizer in there. That Touchly hand sanitizer. Bunch of Clorox wipes, some of these, hello. And just a bunch of car wipes, some tea, if I wanted to have like tea on the plane for my tummy, if I needed it, my car keys are in there, which not necessarily needed to be. Another hand sanitizer. Um, I've got lotion in here, touch up powder, some lippies. But these hold a lot and that's why I love them because I can just really overload these. But when I get ready to go in my bag, I know exactly where everything is and that helps things to stay organized while on the go. So we put that in there. Still got plenty of space. Love this bag for that reason. I normally, if I were like, you know, planning to get footage in the airport and all that, I would bring my large tripod. It actually could fit in there. I could collapse it down some more, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna just put this in my large um, travel bag or suitcase. Um, I also have my phone, my work phone, my personal phone with this, this old Louis Vuitton case that I got off of Amazon or somewhere, girl. And I'll put that in there. Another thing that I have to put in my bag for the airport is my book, which I'm reading currently, and my book light. So I'm gonna put those down in my bag, and then that's gonna be it for my travel bag, um, as far as like my airport travel bag going. This is gonna be everything. I have these in the bag, and then sometimes I'll just let them hang on my luggage too, or like off the side here. Um, and just do that with, you know, like put this and then put this. So this is how it looks all the way packed. And it is heavy, not gonna lie, but it, you can hold it like this or we can crossbody it. But for the most part, I'm gonna just have it sitting on top of my rolling bag. So this is bag number one, packed and ready to go. Completely packed. Okay, I hope y'all are finding this video interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying it so far. So I wanted to just show you dolls this bag that I absolutely love and it is a knockoff bag. So I do mix it up. I don't have a problem saying that, but I do have um, high end, but I also have little cute things that I might spot on Amazon or different places. And I do buy them. Like if I'm out in NYC, like when I go for my birthday and you see the street vendors and they selling stuff, if it's cute, girl, I'm gonna get that. I don't mind that. And y'all can come in and come for me and all that stuff, but it is what it is. But this bag right here, I picked up um, one of those purchases and I've been obsessed with it. It is just this faux, um chanel makeup or travel bag it's not by any means a real one but i am absolutely obsessed with this bag um it does just have a cc logo on the front of it um it has the diamond print it's a leather it is leather so it's not um a bad material it is leather it does have the cc on the front so it's a really nice travel bag and i was like yeah i'm gonna get that i think it's so stinking cute faux or not and let me show you dolls this is intended for a makeup bag or you know i pack skincare in this as well it's like the um louis vuitton is it the nano or the non bag or the makeup bag which um I do have that on my, my wish list, but for now, this is the one that I've been using, but I haven't been putting my skincare in here. Let me show you dolls what I've been using this for. I have been using this bag to pack 
my perfumes and my sunglasses if you dogs can see that i have my eyeglasses in here i have a bunch of perfumes in here because this bag is really thick it's really good quality and i've traveled with this and i feel like it holds my perfume my bottles are not gonna break or anything like that as well as my sunglasses it is such a large capacity bag you guys um, I have two pairs of sunglasses so far. It's in here so far. Both are my Saint Laurent sunglasses, the Betty and the Blaze sunglasses in their cases in there. And then I have, I like to put my perfumes, since these are the full size bottles, I like to put them, I could have got the small size, but I didn't. So I don't have it on deck. So I wanted to bring my angel share. And I just carried in the boxes that my love don't be shy because it travels so well so well in this case. And I have just Red, Zara Red Temptation. I have the True Amore or Amor in here. I've got Ebony Wood, just for like evenings, dinner, um, if I go out or something. And then I brought my Chloe, which I think is gonna be so fresh and bright for the trip. And I have all of those in there with plenty of space. To zip and it also had like these little slots in here if you wanted to bring makeup brushes and stuff but I have like my own makeup brush cases for this so I don't use it for that but you could I mean I could have used it for that and then I just zip her right up I'm able to zip this right up and there's still plenty of space in here but I try not to like stretch this the case out or anything but this is one of my absolute favorites I wish I would have gotten a couple more um, because it came in like different sizes, um, a, a smaller size, or I could have got another big one because this is so good and it's real leather, genuine leather. Um, this is really nice. So I love that. And then I'm also gonna bring my Libre, YSL Libre Intense. I have it in the box still. So that to me helps the perfumes and stuff travel better is if you just leave them in their boxes. Um, if you still have your box, then that's a reason to save them for travel and for packing. It just, you know, this Angel Share is not gonna be damaged as far as like the glass or anything rupturing. And then Love Don't Be Shy is in there like that. Would I recommend taking full size bottles? I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, I do. I've traveled with them before. I like to just have it on hand or you can definitely get the smaller bottles, but I didn't want to rebuy all of these in small, but I want to start doing that just so I have them on hand to travel with. So, because this does get heavy in your bag. This will go inside of my mini luggage that goes on a plane with me because I'm going to handle it properly. Okay, dolls, another tip that I like to pass on is just to make sure that you have your things organized. That way it makes it so much easier to pack, unpack, and just to keep up with your things on the go while you're traveling. And one way that I like to do that is just by having these little clear organizers or click up bags or cosmetic bags, uh, travel bags, I guess they would be called. And I actually picked these two up. It came in a set from Amazon for $7.99. So I'll definitely have that link below. But these are so convenient. I'm using one for skincare and I'm using one for all of my makeup. These, I'm using them just to keep my products organized. It's clear so I can see everything, make sure that I picked it back up and accounted for, but just so that I know what I have. That's why I like the clear ones. So in here, I plan on, while I'm there filming a video with me using all new products that I haul from the Sephora VIB sale. So I have all those things in here the one size setting powder, the pink powder, which I've been loving. Today I'm wearing the um, yellow powder that I picked up from one size. And then I have um, just my contour, the toffee tees from Fenty. I've got my new makeup by Mario concealers in here. I still have them in the boxes just for ease of carry and travel and I haven't used them yet. The Morphe foundation, but I also brought the Estee Lauder, which is my new pickup, as well as, you know, my absolute one that I'm super excited about, which is the Dior um, Backstage Face and Body. Um, I've got my Sephora Contour Powder, the 68P. I've got my new MAC Red. I have to have a red lipstick when I'm traveling. I think you just have to kind of think about your outfits and what looks you're gonna be trying to pull or want to pull and then make sure you bring your lip products 
your eyeshadows and stuff that are going to coordinate with that. So I have a little eyeshadow palette, which I love. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the Rebel Honey Palette. And it's just a four quad palette, but I think the colors are really nice, especially for like... Um, a tropical vacay destination these tend to work well you've got to go which will give you a little shimmer if you wanted to do that for like the evenings in this pan and then those other two are really pretty um and then that red is what i'm wearing today and it's just a really soft kind of muted brownish red and i think it just looks really good and you could also use that to cut a crease with i've got my fenty lip gloss bomb I have the MAC that I'm wearing today, which is the chestnut lip liner and then the MAC lip glass, lip gloss. I'm taking that. I've got some eyelash glue, concealers, some more lippies from YSL, MAC, some Morphe, um, MAC lip gloss, another MAC. I've got a, let me see. I don't know how easy it is for you to also see through the package. I've got a MAC prep and prime so that I have a primer. And then I have Juvia's Place lip gloss, which is gonna be, I love this one on the, on the go, it's Dolce Latte. And I just got a bunch of makeup things. I have my Chanel mirror in here that broke. <laughs> but just in case I need it for putting on my lashes or for close up applications. And for the most part, that's all the makeup that I'm taking with me. But like I said, I really love this uh, translucent or um, see-through pouch because then I can see all the things in here which makes it really convenient and really handy for on the go and on this side I have all of my skincare which I use this for the smaller one I put that little Mario Badescu uh, the travel kit of the acne prone products in here they were the mini size or are the mini size so that makes it really easy and convenient it's got the acne facial wash which i have been having a few breakouts lately and then since i'll be in a humid dry climate i wanted to just use this um these products versus like something that's giving oil and all that so i have the toner in there as well i don't know if it's focusing a razor i have one of the um, perfumes out of that bum bum the Brazilian crush the number 40 is what this one is I put that in there I've got a Mario Badescu lip balm I'm pretty sure I have my Laneige um, I brought my full-size one but I also have the little uh, squeeze tube as well I did bring the necessary for my body um, for body care or for my body wash I've got the lotion that came in the set that I you guys saw me haul at the Sephora sale recently the shower gel wash this is eucalyptus I have a peter roth um just a face mask i wanted to use this as a cucumber gel mask great size for travel as well hand cream vitamin e so convenient all of these smaller size products and then i brought a bunch of these little um like sample size or little things that I usually get in my bag that like Sephora and Ulta to try out or to use on the go. Now usually I don't have a chance to, to do any of the extra stuff. So I got these Sunday, Sunday Raleigh retinoid serums and just little things in case I wanted to do a little extra for skincare one night. Here is the Laneige Balm that I was telling you dolls about. My a uh, healing a uh, healing and soothing mask from Mario Badescu moisturizer I have the Peter Roth I have another mask this one is the Irish Moon Irish Mora Mud purifying black mask it looks like that and this came in a set of four that I got also last year in a gift set it's glycolic eye cream from Mario Badescu as well they have a lot of great products and they come in small sizes and large which I think is so nice I've got this little set of just little things that I picked up whenever I'm in Sephora. Paula's Choice, it's a exfoliant. I still have my contact lenses in there. Um, yeah, just a bunch of little skincare things on there. And so another key tip that I have is just to hold on to your old boxes. I know people say like, it's trash. You know, boxing and packaging is trash, but I like to keep my packaging because then when I'm traveling, it's really helpful. One thing that I have kept that I really like is this Tom Ford box, and this was just from my eyeglasses. But the box itself is so heavy, so sturdy, that I've actually been using it for my makeup brushes um, 
this is just a really cute box and then when I get ready to use them I just open it up pull this out and you know have my brushes and stuff in there these are the pretty girl brushes which is my brand and I know you dolls have been asking when are they coming out how do I buy and I want to get new packaging for them um, because they have been off market for a while while I was off being mommy wife um, you know businesswoman and all of that so I just want to take my time with them and they will it'll be soon though I'm working on it for 2024 but it's a 10 piece set and so all the brushes are in here these I have used but um, I just you know open this set up but anyways they're all in here so I am repurposing my time for a box just for my brushes and this works amazing I know exactly where they are they're easy to get to they're not getting damaged or anything while they're in transit or while I'm on vacation and I think it's just a really cute way to repurpose like you know your boxes and stuff like when you're on the go this thing that I have to show you dolls is just my hair stuff now this is another one of those clear organizers which I like and um, this one is a black bottom it actually has a full roll-up case where there's a bunch of these you attach it to that to the um, the black band and then you roll it up but I'm just using this one and I just have a little thing of spritz in there because like I said I'm going somewhere that's tropical it's humid and I know the hair is gonna swell so I have some like a like a more of a coarser or harder spritz um, if you if you girls know you know this stuff Fantasia liquid mousse the firm hold spritz um, I've got a couple of hair brushes a comb a rat tail some hair dye in here like a semi-permanent dye in case my hair gets wet and I need to recolor my hair. I've got a flat iron in here and I have um, my other pair of eyeglasses. And so I'm gonna zip that up like that. And then these are essentially my toiletries in my main bag that goes under the plane because I have a lot of stuff four days so I have most of my handbags that I'll be taking in my carry-on bag my roller bag my sunglasses and I just in my sneakers like my taking my 350s and my jewelry with us on its vacay and so I got the cutest little case from Amazon it's white or you can pick a different color I think they had like black brown etc but this is so cute guys it's got a little button closure there it's not huge but for me since I'm wearing a lot of just little statement pieces little just smaller sized earrings these days then this one works this one works perfectly so what I did was um, when you open it up it's got just this little like a little pop a little pocket in here it's got these little hooks for like bracelets and different stuff but I actually hung up my LV um, earrings the larger size ones and just some and just some Chanel earrings here that I'm not sure that I'll wear, Oops. but I wanted to have them just in case. So I hung those on this side. This seems really good quality. And then I have my Zara earrings here and there's so many little holes where you can add in jewelry and accessories in here or different earrings, but I just put that big set in there, but it will hold so much. This is like great for storage on the go, but also if you wanted to just add it to have in your house or for like your permanent collection or just your permanent collection to house your jewelry this will be great I think you flip it up and then on the other side there's all these little spots that you could put earrings on as well both sides and then in here I just placed my key um, earrings that I want to take with me on the trip um, my Valentino's in the back there trying to keep them from sliding um, I got some Chanel, the ones that dangle, two studs of Chanel's, my Bottega dupes, my Chanel necklace, not Chanel, Christian Dior necklace, um, what else do I have in here? My little Fendi hoops, my small LV hoops, some sailor earrings that I thought are cute that are vintage or that I thrifted. I don't know if they're vintage, but I thought those were cute. And um, yeah, so this is so cute. This is not a tray that comes out. It's just a little divided section, but it's so much storage space. And I'm gonna definitely put this in my small luggage to carry. Um, I also have these just random earrings from the beauty supply that I saw while I was in there getting some stuff that I think are so cute that I'm gonna also put in here for the trip. I'll probably put them in just this little pouch or little tiny makeup case that I have. Small leather good. I have these two sets of hoops. 
I don't know if I'm going to take them, but my mom got these for me from, I think, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, maybe. But, like, Bottega dupes, so pretty, beautiful, in gold and in silver. I have those, and then I have just, I'm using these pools for... So, I just have these two boxes that I had some small other goods in, and I put some necklaces in and some bracelets in here just to, you know, carry them on with me. And I have this little tray. This used to be a coach shoe box top and I use this just to kind of lay down my accessories once I get where I'm going I'll just kind of lay them out on the tray or I like to have a tray just to lay my stuff out on so I can see what I've got or my sunglasses and stuff so this comes in so handy and I've had this for years and it's never broken or none of that stuff so yeah I just love to do things like that to display I have a couple of these that I'm gonna bring in my luggage just to put my um just to put my jewelry and stuff on there once I get there. Go over, those are all the little smaller type bags. And so I'll show you dolls how we pack the luggage. Okay, so I have my travel bag here, if you dolls can see that. And this is gonna be my carry-on bag with wheels. So this is just a bag that I picked up, I guess a few, well, quite a few years ago now. It's from Vince Camuto and it's just this luggage um, which I love. It's so convenient. It just looks really classy with the stud details on there, the gold studs. But it has the um, extendable handle, little gold detail in there. And I have the large size as well, but it's these in here that are going to go on the plane in my overhead compartment with me. Things of value, things that I don't want to be lost or want to go underneath the plane. So let me show you guys how I pack this. Oh guys, I have my large YSL or Saint Laurent oh, gauche reef. And this one is one that I, I've seen people travel with this one through the airports and stuff, but for me, it's just too big. It gets heavy and I, it's the, given the texture, it's like a um, cheesecloth and it's white essentially. I don't want to damage my bag and I've not really used this at all yet. I think I've used it like one time only. Um, this past summer, so I want to bring this to use on the beach. So I'm gonna pack her, which may be difficult. I don't know because this is a big bag and I have so many things that I'm trying to bring. But I do have the dust bag, so I'm debating if I'm gonna take this bag or not, or just try to rock it. Okay. Um, Dior book tote. My, I'm gonna start to separate it by which bag is going on. So these are definitely going in the small carry bag that's going on a plane with me because it's of value. Most of the stuff is of value, so it's kind of hard for me to put stuff under the plane or to use my big bag besides for my clothes, um, like my skincare, my toiletries and stuff like that, but even still. So I'm gonna start to just separate these things. This is gonna be going, these are flying with me. Like I'm gonna have this on when I go tomorrow. Okay, these can definitely go in my larger suitcase because it's just workout clothes. But the sneakers are gonna have to fly with me. So I'm gonna separate it out. So I have my Louis Vuitton sandals, which I just put in a dust bag. Like I tell you dolls, hold on to your dust bags. These are my Louis Vuitton sandals. Um, the Bom Dia, Bom Dia sandals. I have my Christian Dior flats here which i love to wear with my um book toe even though it's kind of matchy matchy i think it's really really cute so i'm gonna pack these two together but they definitely need to go on my in my carry-on with me as well so i'm gonna put these two in together so that it's just one bag one dust bag so i'm gonna start to move those over bag i need to get the dust bag for it also have my um, bb alma bag i think this will be really cute with this brown set that i got from amazon which is a skirt and like a little uh, mock neck tank top the skirt super cute giving mermaid vibes but i wanted to wear my um bb alma with it so i'm definitely going to take this well this stuff can stay I have my two swimsuits, a blue one and a white one, both one pieces that I got from Amazon. They're going in the art bag. I have a couple of linen sets that you guys will see once we get into the actual vlog. And I just, these just came in from Amazon. So white linen shirt and shorts, and I have a blue set. <laughs> now this is just a little clutch. 
I do care about it, but it's okay to go in my big bag. So it's just a little gold clutch, which can go with any bag or any outfit while I'm out there. So I'm just gonna pack this bag up. Definitely going, it folds so flat. It's just super easy to take. So it's definitely going to go. Oh, I have my Zara clutch that I wanted to show you dolls. You guys saw me haul this one. I haven't used it yet. It was uh, $49.90 with a little strap. I thought this would be cute as an evening bag to take um, on the, with me on the go. So I brought that. I have my LV toiletry bag still that I wanna bring. Do I need to bring this? I don't know if I need to bring this, but I may. And then I just have these extra little makeup bags. And I was gonna use this one just to put like, I got these little extra earrings and stuff from Beauty Supply. The head scarves to tie the hair up. So it's gonna definitely go in here. I do have my vintage Dior bag that I was thinking about bringing. It's a vintage Dior clutch. I don't know that I wanna bring it or not. I think it would be so cute like for the evening time just to have. Um, but I do have to limit some things because yeah, it's four days and I've got so much stuff. I don't want to lose track of all these items that I'm bringing, so I may leave these two behind. Definitely bringing my um, Cons bag or Canes bag. Have the strap for it. And I just think this will be so cute for one of the outfits that I'm planning to wear. So I definitely want to bring that. So the only thing is, is just the shape of the bag. I don't want it to get squashed squished up so that's the only thing with this bag is because it's so like structured i don't know but it's so stinking cute so i do have this bag here and it's kind of like an overflow bag it was in here from the last time this is nicole miller it's from tj maxx it's just a really great travel bag um it's so pretty but i just kind of have some things in here that was in my luggage from before i've got my chanel full-size mirror just for lashes or close-up shots, or if I'm filming and need a mirror, then I had that in there. And this I've had for years. I know they come in colors now. Before, this is just the original vintage black and white. I got a little roller makeup bag um, <laughs> that I put makeup brushes and stuff in there. I don't think I need that this time. Then I had a Morphe setting spray in there. Some baby oil gel from Johnson Johnson's. Necessaire body lotion. So I don't think I need these things. A razor, I make a pencil, I mean lip liner. I may take the lip liner and a razor. But everything else, I don't know that I need it. I got razors and stuff in here. What else? More of these. I don't know why I have so many shavers, but anyways, I have those. I two pair, I'm bringing two pairs of heels. These are the Zara heels that are heel from this summer. And these are just really functional. I think they'll be cute when I do want to put a heel on. I have these, and then I also have these, which I've had for a while, but these are really cute and comfortable as well. And I'm thinking about wearing these like with my green two-piece satin set um, with just a little pointed toe, a go back on them. But these are just really gorgeous, clear, so they go with everything. It's like wearing a neutral shoe and with a really nice, um, pedicure, polish. They just look really elegant with whatever you're wearing. So I love those and they pack really easily and they go really nicely with everything. A pair of socks just for the hotel and just to have, you know, for evenings in the, in the room. Also thinking about bringing this Chanel bag, but I don't know and I don't know and I don't know. So I had it out just in case, but I'm not wearing a whole lot of silver. Um, type jewelry or things with silver on them besides one outfit. So I'm like, do I really want to bring a whole Chanel trendy just for that? But I always love to have a Chanel bag just for pictures or for going out. But I'm like, I don't know if I really want Chanel traveling. So I may not pack her with us. So we'll see. In the maybe pile. I'm definitely wanting to bring my planner because like I said, I want to journal or just to be able to jot down notes. So that's going to go with me. I need to find my desk bag. Um, get my dust bag out of my office to put my planner in. Um, this is my GM planner in the Damier print. Damier Abin, I love it, or Damier Eben. I also have some extra sunglasses dolls that I picked up from Amazon for the trip, and these are like clear lens glasses. 
Um, can't wait to wear those, but I think they'll be perfect for where I'm going and the looks that I'm gonna be giving. So I have those three shades. I'm gonna put those in my small bag as well. And um, the rest are just my clothes. I just put them in this big dust bag. I've got an outfit on like this, but white that I'm bringing. I've got a silk set or satin set for dinner. It's that, that Bottega green, the pants. It looks like this. It's the um, shirt and the pants. I think that's gonna be so pretty with um, a pair of these sunglasses. And um, it's gonna be really hot, 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 hot for the evening. That's gonna be really pretty. So I'm bringing that out, the pants set, so pretty. I got some new pajamas, two pairs of pajamas that I'm bringing, both pants. Y'all have definitely got to watch the uh, travel vlog coming soon so that you can see me with all of my things and how I style them and what I'm wearing and all of that good stuff. So pajamas, things like that. This was the white set I was telling you guys about. So I'm gonna pack that. And um, oh, the little pajamas that I just showed y'all, it came with a headband and um, eye mask or eye covers for sleep, which I thought was cute and it's from Amazon. Um, I have the blue, I need to put these back in the bag. But this was the blue linen set that I got. So cute, it's a short set. I take this green set. Um, like what I'm wearing today, but the Bottega green set, I thought this would be good just if I needed to throw something on, like to step out or whatever in the evening if it's chilly. So I brought that. My tripod in the bag here. I need to go in here too. All right, that I don't think we'll take any of these. These lashes are gonna go in the makeup case, lipstick, extra lipstick, parts white. Skincare. Oh, this stuff. Put it on this side. Brushes. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think that's it. I just call it a day. Don't step out on faith on that one. Standing up. Back over here to this bag. So I've got everything that we talked about. Push down in here. Get my planner in there too. One would be airport luggage will be. This will set here or whatever. Mostly like I'm most likely just wearing a sweatsuit and my dunks that are in the airport, which you dolls will see once we get into the travel portion or the travel vlog. But this will be how we're, you know, traveling inside the airport. And I'm gonna check my big bag that we just packed. And okay, dolls, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I get packed and prepped for a vacation. The next videos that you'll see will be the actual travel vlogs. I'm so excited to share that with you dolls and for you to see where I'm going today. Like I said, I'm wearing chestnut on the lip, the lip liner, and then the MAC lip glass. And it's just a really pretty look. But thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on vacation next. And bye.